Today we're checking out Far. That's what it's called. Um, I know nothing about this game. I've just heard it was interesting. And I figured I would give it a try because it's on PlayStation Plus Extra, I believe. So let's take a look. Just me? Yeah, this is definitely me. Just go up, I guess. Wow, the visuals look amazing. Very good looking game. It's like a 2D platformer, I'm assuming. Oh, do I gotta go under? Ah, okay. All and over. That's easy. Definitely put like all of their attention into the water because it looks amazing. Oh, okay. Or it's very smooth playing. I didn't expect it to be not be smooth though because it's. Actually, I was gonna say it's because it's like a small game, but like the graphics actually look amazing, so... Do I jump down? Oh my god. Okay. Man, what happened to the world? Down. Okay. Interact. I jump up, press that, I think. <laughs> Truly, having the proper soundtrack to games really does make, make the experience so much better. Like, Doing content creation and playing a game to the story and not including the game's default soundtrack and using its non-copyright soundtrack when they have that to offer, it's good for, you know, people playing. But it sucks because the non-copyright one does no justice to the actual soundtracks in most games. Okay. Wow. Oh. Okay. Uh, trying to figure out what we're supposed to do here. Okay, so go up here. No way to move forward or backwards. Oh, there's a button there. I see it. Let's push it in the water. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. The hook. Oh, gotcha. That's sick. All right. Platform and I'm off the platform. Train track. It's like a factory district behind me. The music just totally left. Whoa, the sound. Go underwater, you actually hear underwater sounds. That was not proper wording.
Okay. Do I have to go in there? Oh. Okay. Very in depth. Press this button. I can press it underwater. What did that do? Whoa. It takes the water. Heat it all. There we go. What opens this room? Oh. What did you do to myself? Was I it? Was this diving outfit? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I don't know what that outfit you just got on you was. Oh, that's why that was needed. Oh. Do I get like a bridge? Oh, I walk on that. Okay, cool. Anything down here? No. I don't really think it's like a looting game or anything, so... Hmm. I was stuck, so I'm thinking we use that ladder. So it's like a really, really, like, astonishing, really beautiful looking, um, puzzle platformer. Kind of what it seems like. Up we go. Okay. Ah, shit. Is this my boat? This is sick. I think I just turned it on. Yep. Cast off. Okay. So yeah, you get a boat. Sick looking boat. I think I gotta turn the sail on, which works like this. Just like that. Do I have to climb? Oh. Oh, and there's... I think I see what I have to do here. I have to grab this hook. And tie it around this. And then it opens the key. Wow. Unless you just fell off the boat. Just be the end of the thing. Oh, it's getting inside. I don't really have much floors or anything. It's just this one room. Oh, but that's also how I get up to that floor. So, like, what do I do now? I'm just traveling? What do you do?
It's like about speed here. Oh no. Oops. So you gotta be a little careful or else you're gonna break stuff. Did I break it? I don't really know if I did or not. It doesn't look like it's doing okay. I see smoke down there. Right. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. But like... I still think everything works. Because it still seems fine. You're really just paying attention to your boat, make sure it travels good. That's all I know so far. Push the debris out of my way. Oh shit! Okay, uh. Yeah, well, we're just gonna. Okay. I gotta do something here. Because this thing appears to be in my way. Oh no. How did I. God damn it. I'll let go of that. No, like I said, let go. Oh, use this. Picking it up, I guess. Okay. What are we doing with it? That was just to get up here, I think. Uh, is this to fix something? Oh. So you fix stuff, okay. Um, well. Keep that right there. Push this a little forward so it's not in my way. And then my ship gets moving a little bit. Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm keeping this. Fixed it. Keep this up here, I guess. Once so we get through here, put the sail back up. Very slow paced game. Very calm. Not much happening. Which isn't always a bad thing. It's also more some people's style of game. Ok, 
Okay, so now we shove this thing back up. Then we go up here. Grab our little hooky thing. Leave. And then we take this. Find what way I gotta go. Not that way. Oh, there's a- I think there's a blue marking on the thing that shows where it's at its fastest. Yes, there is, right there. I think the main feature of this game, I think what makes it the most exciting, is like, I could see this not being... Depending on what you're into watching, I could see this not being something that you're interested in. You could be interested in sitting there watching for multiple episodes, multiple periods of time. It's kind of just a visual experience with how nice the visuals are and how good they look where you just kind of sail through the world and you solve little puzzles here and there just to be able to keep sailing you gotta keep take care of your boat I'm assuming there's more action not action per se but more eventful things and this shit happening as you get into the game a bit I, I don't see this being my type of game that I would want to sit there and play forever I think it's a cool experience but I feel like it's something that I would get myself very bored of over time. I, I want a little chaos. But if you're into this type of game, where it's just relaxing and calm and take your time, then this is definitely a game I would recommend, because it looks so good and plays very well, just from this first, first playthrough experience. I think we'll hit our next stop or wherever it is we're going, and I think I will end it there, which looks like might be right here. Oh shit, okay. Should I pull these in? That was close. Okay. Oh no. I just took out my sails. Um, I want to fix that. That looks hittable. God damn it. I gotta figure out how to stop better. Not very good at stopping. <laughs> Oops. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Fix this damn thing again. Okay. Gonna need one of these new buckets soon. Well, as I said, as we got to the next stop, which happens to be right here, and it looks like I have encountered something. So there's a nice solid puzzle here that I'm gonna have to do, but. <laughs> Um, this is just kind of just to check out far and see what I think about it. I don't think this is something that I could There's like hold on what's there's like heavy like hitting sounds okay, Well now I'm intrigued before I continue on what I was saying Kind of want to know what's happening This noise is tripping me out. I want to know what it is. Okay. Okay. Now I go up here. Oh, is that a button? Hmm. 
What now? How do I get out of here? Is this all supposed to burn? Cause there's a switch up there, it's still not activated. What? I can't even get out of here, I'm just stuck in this. Oh. It appears I figured it out. <laughs> I guess. Okay. And here I go. There's a map there with some kind of information. That way, I think. I'm assuming what that's what that means. Maybe. Or do you have to pull it the other way? I generally don't know. I'm impatient. Yeah, well, we're just gonna settle with that way. Press this. Stand here for seven hours and see what happens. What? My brain isn't very confused. Do I need more gasoline? I put so much more in there though. Get this. I feel like I'm just stupid. Well, I'm stopping here. <laughs> I don't know where to go. If there is enjoyment for some reason of me playing this series, I suppose, or people are a little annoyed I don't continue from where I'm at, maybe you'll do a part two and I'll continue. But I'm lost, very confused, don't know how to complete this. Probably super easy puzzle that I'm just being an idiot about. But anyways, this has been far. 
I don't mind it. It's an okay game. It's just not necessarily my style. But if you're more into the calm and peaceful, just enjoy the scenery type of game. Maybe calm. Maybe it doesn't get that way later on in game. It can definitely change very quick. But first impressions, first little bit, not a horrible game. Also not my favorite. So I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10 because it is a cool experience and it looks great, plays great. It's just not my thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one. Thank you.